Today is a very special day, so I'm going to be trying something that I consider special. Plum Pudding Special Reserve Flake. Now, Plum Pudding was actually like, at least the first three or four years that I was uh, smoking pipe tobacco. Plum Pudding was my was my favorite and mostly what I smoked. I have never tried the Special Reserve Flake. I don't know why, but <clears throat> uh, earlier today I got news that this channel is officially monetized at the first level of monetization. And like two hours after that happened, I got my first super thanks uh, from Dude Garner. So I would like to dedicate this video to Dude Garner. Thank you so much. And yeah, I'm stoked. It's a really... It's a really cool thing and I'm just so honored. I never, I never ever <laughs> thought that this channel would get monetized. I never even thought it would get 100 subscribers. So this is insane. And yeah, I'm going to try something special and share, share what I think of it. <laughs> so let me pop this open and uh, give it a smell. Well, actually, I should probably read the back for you. Uh, that's normally what I, what I do. For years, Master Blender Joe Lankford wanted to make a special reserve edition of Plum Pudding. Everything you love about Special Reserve now, sliced into lovely flakes. Latakia joins with Turkish, Turkish Orientals, Virginia, Cavendish, and Perique. But yeah, in case you're not familiar, Plum Pudding is a really, really well-liked English blend. And it does have uh, a little bit of Perique and Cavendish in it. So it's what some people might refer to as a kitchen sink blend where they're kind of throwing everything in there. Um, and I haven't even had any plum pudding in like two years, I want to say, because I've just been experimenting with all sorts of new stuff. But let's, uh, let's see what's up here. Oh, there's more. Hold on, there's more in here that I have to read to you. It says, um, how to improve upon perfection. The rarest leaf helped create the result. Pressed in cakes, age longer, and flake cut for you to easily enjoy. This is Joe's favorite way to enjoy pressed tobacco. Complex, smoky, spicy, and still positively addictive. Nirvana. Everything you love about special reserve now slice. Okay, and then it goes on. Cool. And yeah, that was just um, it's here. And then I'll let you look at the, the flakes here, which are, oh man, they are sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's like a big old hunk of beef jerky. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ah, that's just comforting. I get the lot of Kia, obviously. So, like a really nice, smoky campfire note. Uh, and then I'm also getting like some cedar wood. Just a little bit of sweetness in the background. And I'm not going to say too much about this because I don't know. I just want to, I don't want to look for anything. I just want to kind of enjoy this and yeah, it looks beautiful. All right, I'm going to load a bowl and I'll get back to you. Can I just say... I'm so happy I decided to pop this thing open today. This is the 
perfect way to celebrate monetization. This stuff is really good. Like, really good. <laughs> it's, um, it's spring, and normally I start kind of getting away from English blends uh, in the spring, moving into the summer. Hmm. But my God, is this the right choice? Nolata Kia is not as strong as I remember um, regular plum pudding being. Now, I will say, I haven't tried regular plum pudding in, I think, like two years. So maybe I'm just not remembering correctly, but it's a very cool kind of white pepper smoke experience that the lot of key is giving me. You know, there's a little bit of that campfire, but it's also a sweet smoke. And yeah, it comes across as kind of white pepper, which is really interesting. I'm also getting Indian spices, perhaps from the Orientals, um, like cardamom, cinnamon. Um, what's the other one? Not not turmeric. It doesn't matter. It's just, it doesn't taste like any of those individual spices. It, it tastes like just Indian spices. If you've ever made your own Indian food at home, when you make that blend, that smell and that taste, It's beautiful. And then the sweetness is coming across in two different ways. There's a red, like tart, almost like a tart cherry jam note. I shit you not. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. And it like cuts through the the creaminess. And this thing is just so damn balanced. It's ridiculous how balanced this is. Uh, and then the other sweetness that comes across is a kind of toasted marshmallow sweetness that reminds me of Boswell Northwoods, if you've ever had that blend. Another fantastic English blend that I would recommend. But way deeper and way more complex. I'm going to look at my notes to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, and that's just a fourth of the bowl through. Um, yeah, like I haven't even gotten a, th a third through the bowl and I'm already experiencing all this, which is wild because usually I kind of get more and more as I go. So I can say with confidence, I highly recommend this. If you like Latakia or English blends at all, you need to try this. This is so good. I will definitely be getting another tin, probably quite a few, honestly, um, as as my wallet allows. But let me let me get through more of this, uh, and I'll get back to you. Hmm. Well, friend. I am in my happy place. It's only gotten creamier. And there are some floral notes that are coming through. I'm getting some bread with butter and some brown sugar.
And I feel like I can really appreciate the Virginias and the Precon here in a way that I never could before. I mean, I've never had this particular version of plum pudding, but the past two years, I've really been experimenting with a lot of Virginias and Virginia Preaks. So I can, I can taste that in there. But again, the balance is, is unreal. It's magical. Mm. And the, the level of, uh, the strength of it. is also just right there. When I first introduced my wife to pipe smoking and we were still dating, I was telling her that I really like smoking pipe tobacco because it makes me feel like I'm on vacation. And I think that description came from plum pudding, um, specifically the level of strength in plum pudding where it's going to sit you back in your seat and you're going to feel so very relaxed and comfortable, um, but you're not going to feel floored by any means. It's just like the Goldilocks zone. And everything about this blend for me is hitting that Goldilocks zone. The experience, uh, the taste. The only thing that's not quite there right out of the tin is the moisture level. It is quite moist and I've had to, to do some relights, um, but it'll dry out. I'll let it hang out for a while before I uh, put it in a jar. But man, I, I was expecting this to be great, but this is beyond what I was expecting. And I know it's quite a bit more expensive than regular plum pudding. but I think it's worth it. I really do. And I hate to say that because I don't want to buy more of it, but I, I'm going to have to. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I need it in my life. And if you happen to be new to pipe smoking, uh, you might assume that plum pudding is an aromatic because of the name. But there are no obvious toppings uh, nothing mentioned. Black Cavendish uh, tends to be kind of sweet on its own. Not exactly sure what the process is with that, but I. Um, but it's by no means an aromatic, um, nor does it have an obvious um, casing of any kind that I can taste. The reason it's called plum pudding is that Joe Lankford, who made the blend this is like his favorite basically and he thought it was special and worthy of that name because plum pudding is a special traditional christmas pudding so apparently that's the logic there but yeah i don't have much else to say this is fantastic um, and the perfect celebration blend, in my humble opinion. So I'll leave you with that. I do hope you got some value out of this video, and thanks for hanging out.